Hello everyone, my name is Johan from Restoration.bike and in this video I'm going to explain how to restore and install vintage Shimano cantilever brakes. If you like this video be sure to subscribe, I post new repair and restoration videos regularly. So first off, obviously you need to remove the, uh, the brake set and after I've done so I clean them. I use mineral spirits to do so in this salad bowl and then an old style brush, an old brush to remove the dirt. I also reuse the mineral spirits to just put it back and let the debris sink to the bottom so it's relatively clean and it's not too bad for the environment. This is the polishing step. The brake arms are aluminium. I have a separate video about this specific polish process, so be sure to click the link in the video shown for more information. Cantilever brakes have a lot of parts, so uh, I always use these plastic uh, uh, containers, so I'm sure not to, to lose any of these very unique parts. And then I reassemble the brake arms with new brake pads. The original brake pads were wrong. They had um, uh, those uh, screws, nuts at the end. So those weren't meant for cantilever brakes. So I bought uh, two pairs of brakes and used grease to um, prevent them from seizing onto the frame when I install them. They come with very tight springs and they are different. So be sure to use the right spring for the right mount. You saw me um, moving cl clockwise for this left hand brake arm. So the spring has to, to be moving clockwise for this one and the other one counterclockwise. And then I install you see me making that rotational movement again. Then I install the, the brake arms. There is no, there wasn't really any um, photo material I could use, but I made sure that the brake arms were symmetric. Then I, um, you then I I bought new Jaguar cables. I don't have a cable cutter, and this was kind of a nuisance. This little hacksaw to cut through the cable. Uh, it's sloppy, but you know it worked, so it did the job. The end cap for the cable was too thin for the barrel adjuster, so I decided to make. Uh, an, an adapter from some arbitrary piece of plastic. I have no idea what, what that gray thing is, but I found it. <laughs> so I used it because it, it fit the end cap perfectly. I needed to sand down the outside of the plastic adapter because it was too wide for the barrel adjuster. And then I used a permanent marker to uh, to dull to to make the gray black, so you wouldn't see and it would fit in nicely with the end cap. And this is the result. I you, I already mentioned I don't have a cable cutter, so one way to uh, prevent the cable from fraying is to use insulation tape. Insulation tape. And then cut it. Uh, since the uh, job of, of cutting the cable was so sloppy, I used a toothpick to widen the hole or else the cable would not fit. And then I use a clockwise rotational movement to get the cable in. If you do it counterclockwise, the cable will still fray and you will never get, get it in anymore. Then it's just putting it in. The barrel adjuster, I move it all the way into the brake lever and do then one single rotation backwards. So I have some fine tuning 
so I could do some fine tuning when the entire cable and cable housing is installed. I have a video for installing a cantilever brake cable, so be sure to watch that if you want more information. This is the end result with the cable housing end cap and adapter. And then with the cable in place, this is the front brake. I'm doing the front brake here, which goes through the stem. And I also need to use this extra piece of cable because this old style cantilever brake works like so with a cable yoke. First off, I put the extra piece of cable in place, then tighten the cable yoke. And it's just fidgeting around to get the, the right, you know, placement of the cable, both cables and adjusting fine tuning your brakes. I don't really have any advice on how to do that. Only that I make sure that both the front and the rear brakes have the exact same cable length. So it looks nicey. And I like my brakes to be rather tight on the rims. This is the placement of the cable in the cable yoke goes right through. And then it's just one more cut. And then this process is finished after I put on the crimp end. I hope you liked the video. Be sure to give it a like. And I hope I can see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.